Hello and welcome. Today we've got this DCF 899 DeWalt. This is in speed 3. There's just no power. So we're going to try and improve that as cheaply and easy as possible. What I'm going to attempt to do in this video is try and fix this without parts. Just spend a little bit of time in this and make a good job of it. My normal philosophy is just open the thing, fix what's wrong and close it up again. However, I'm going to adopt a different tactic for this one because a lot of you in the comments section um, well, not not all of you, not, it's not a big number of some of you guys don't like that approach. They would like me to take more of a comprehensive approach to fixing things. So I'm going to try and do a partial restoration this thing, sort of a, a budget restoration if you like. I'm not going to ignore the parts that are still working. I'm going to service everything and clean everything to, to a degree, you know. But first of all, we're doing the full tear down here. We're just going to get everything apart. That's that bit done. And the screws at the front are T20, so I had to change the butt to a T15 for the side ones. And there's a label there. You need to cut that as well. If you're opening this, see there's one here too. Cut up this one. Sometimes I peel the labels off and glue them back on again, but cotton's just as tidy, you know, um, and it's quicker and it's easier. The inside of the casing ain't too bad. I've seen dirtier, but it still is dirty, which is an occupational hazard for a machine like this. <sighs> so I need to convince the tear down. We'll take everything out. And there's that little thing you can lose there. These parts here. I remember I lost one of them and had to sort of fabricate something to do the same job. It did work. But let's avoid that. Let's keep it as original as we can, I think. That's the offending item really, this one, but we'll start with the non-offending items and just see what we can do with them. So the first thing to do is hit this with the airline. That's removed any loose sort of debris. But we're going to have to go a wee bit deeper in the spirit of what we're trying to do here today. I'm going to use a little bit of WD-40 just to clean up the inside of these a little bit more. There won't be a maybe restoration in the conventional sense, but it'll be a bit more in-depth than I usually do. And hopefully with something that looks a bit better and goes a lot better when we're finished. Let's 
See if we can do something with the other side as well. I'll leave these to one side for now. I might do a bit more clean with them. That's a rough head off. I can go to these. These are the single th biggest things I can criticize for. Is uh, doing these jobs. What I'd normally do is just grease that up, add a little bit more grease, and send it on its way. But people are obsessed with me removing the old grease. I know the old grease is dirty. And you know. Sometimes it contains a little bit of metallic substance. But the lick of this here it's dirty. But it's alright it's still doing the job. I would usually grease that all up. Put it together. Add more grease. These things don't usually feel because they're dirty grease on them. Usually feels because the grease all dries out. Or is gone. So. No, this is not usually what I do. I'm going to do it anyway, in the spirit of what this video was about. Again, the WD-40, just clean everything out. Get all that stuff away. That's pretty clean now. I'll clean that as well. And we'll dry it all off and then we'll re-grease everything. Clean everything, then we'll re-grease, then we'll go again. Cleaning that would have been a bad idea in my opinion, but we'll try and grease it up as well as we can. I probably should have left that alone. Here we are, it's time to grease up, get things all back together. There we are, for that part, and probably going be coated on there. These as well. Here. few purists out there this is not a complete and 
comprehensive restoration. That's not what we're offering here. We're offering restoration on a budget. I did say that this is pretty dirty now, so we're going to have to clean that too. So we'll consider that part serviced then now, and we'll just leave it to the side. And we're on to the main event. This is the, the fenton item, as it were, because um, this is causing us the problem. We're getting... We'll just clean this up and see if we can improve the condition of it somewhat. I'll take care of the loose stuff. This should take care of the not so loose stuff. Right, so we'll give it a little test. Be careful, because there's moving parts. If you do this at home, it can be dangerous. This could cut you. Using a motor out of a out of a machine. I have cut myself before with them. It is dangerous. Be careful where you hold it. You have to be careful what you're doing to this. Well, here we go. Turn down the power. Let's see the low, low speed, metal speed, full speed, variable speed. So that's looking good. Um, we'll maybe try and put it together now. You see if we have something good that we fixed in a budget. See. You know, put the front part on last anyway, so it doesn't really matter about that as such. As long as you get these parts lined up and setting them where they should, you're all good.
have to make sure that white plug there, see in there is pushed in out of the way to allow room for your, your slider switch to go on. Like this. This can be a tricky wee one here because you got a little you got a little thing. There's a little thing. And the show tea. That's it there. That's that's that. And there's this thing as well. Goes on, on top. It's a small thing, so it can hold you back, but here we are. We've got that on where it should be. And that black plastic thing as well. So we've got to set the side on, reassemble, put on the screws. This is looking good. Just drop all the screws on now. So that's all back together now, uh, I'm sure you'll agree it looks a bit better and uh, everything's switching the way it should be. So all we have to do now is put a battery in and test it. power has been restored I'm calling that fixed um, all it took was some grease some brake cleaner and some WD-40 and some time so I'm calling that a free fix so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos